We just got to our fourth Airbnb in Ciudad Obregón. Right now, I'm just walking Laska around to get rid of some of her energy because she was going psycho in the car and I don't want her jumping all over their furniture. I don't know if they let their dogs up on furniture. They do have two little dogs, including this tiny, cute, two-month-old beagle. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited to show you it. Besides the initial run-in with the Federales on our way in, it does seem like we're going to be totally safe and have a lot of fun here. We'll probably be able to get that celebratory drink that we've been looking for <laughs> this whole time. Yeah, so right before we got here, like 10 minutes outside of the city, we passed this truck. It was the municipal police here. Two cars were behind us. Police pulled out behind those two cars. So three cars behind us. And there were cars going faster than she was going. I'm inclined to go the speed limit no matter what because then I'm not giving them any reason to pull me over. But usually when there are cars piling up behind me, I try to pull over or go in the shoulder or something to let them pass because that's customary by here. all means like you go get the speeding ticket is my philosophy so that's exactly what I did in this situation I actually didn't realize that the police had pulled out behind the two cars so I pulled over then the cop pulled over too I let the two cars go and then pulled back on I'm like I'm not just gonna assume that he's pulling me over why would I pull over let two cars pass and then assume that he was looking for me so I got back on the road he continued to follow me and all of a sudden he did a little siren honk type deal. He did. I didn't hear that. All I saw was the lights. Oh, I couldn't see his lights from my view. So once he did the little honk, siren, whatever, was, that's when I pulled over. We immediately switched out my wallet for the decoy wallet that we have that only has 200 pesos in it. And then... We have a decoy wallet in case they want to bribe so they don't see all of our cash. <laughs> exactly. What we didn't really think of is that he was going to ask for our tip paperwork and that would be in the glove box exactly where we put the other wallet. So that was a little bit of a mistake. This police officer seemed very nice though. He reached in and shook both of our, shook both of our hands. Um, he asked if we spoke Spanish. We said we just spoke a little bit. He spoke to us primarily in English after that and I tried to respond in Spanish a little bit so that it didn't seem like we were completely tourists who didn't know what we were doing. He looked at the, the tip paperwork, talked to whatever other officer was over there, asked us where we were going. We said we were going to Obregón, which is where we are now. And he was asking, are we here seeing family? I said, no, estamos aquí de vacaciones. We're here on vacation. And that was about it. But it was freaking terrifying because <laughs> we did not know what was going to happen. But it only lasted a minute and then we were here shortly thereafter. Hello again, today is day five, Sunday, and we are going for a walk with Laska in the neighborhood of our Airbnb. We have so far noticed that there's a few things that were not used to like the trash cans along the side of the street are kind of suspended the other thing that we have seen garages they're all open they're usually protected with a gate of some kind like this one here and not all the houses have it as you can see with this one it doesn't and with our airbnb where we're staying right now their garage is under construction like a lot of the other houses are adding them laska seems to love our neighborhood but she always loves going on walks She's causing a ruckus on every street we go down. Every single street. Dogs start barking. Oh, there's another dog. Alaska. <laughs> hey. Okay, now all the dogs are barking. There. And then we've awoken this dog and these dogs over here. We would never, ever be able to sneak up on anyone. So we are nothing but pleased with Obregón, especially our hosts. They made us breakfast this morning and coffee, which was a really nice treat to wake up to. And they have been super patient with us and our limited conversational Spanish, but it's been really helpful to have them teaching us a little bit. And they'll say most of it in Spanish. If we don't understand a word, we'll ask about it specifically. Like I said, they've been very patient to explain anything. It means that they're working a lot harder to think of other words that are more elementary that we would be able to understand but it's much appreciated it's giving us some practice and even though we're not used to staying in a single room in a place we like to rent a whole apartment it's been really enjoyable so far yeah and when we can't understand something it's sometimes a little difficult because they don't speak the best english either although They're much english. better than our spanish 
So we're getting some lunch, and we haven't ordered yet. They usually bring out chips and salsa for you. Well, here we have chips and salsa, and a whole plethora of other things. They brought out all of this. We're excited to take it. So we finally got the margaritas we've been waiting for. They are 70 pesos. Delicious. And ginormous. So before traveling, I had so much work to do that I had forgotten or didn't have time to eat a lot of the time. So I lost a ton of weight. All my pants and shorts no longer fit me. But I tell you what, I'm going to gain that weight back. In no time. <laughs> We are back from lunch. We forgot to show you. We forgot to show you because it was just so good. We plowed right in. Way more food than we needed to eat. And we ordered a meal each. It all tasted really, really fresh. Like they probably had just made it that morning. So the total came out to 240 pesos. Most of which was the drinks. Alright, say bye Alaska. Say bye. <laughs> But right now, it is my birthday. And we're and going to we get a drink. Are going and to get eat. a drink. Don't look at the light. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It seems like she's chasing them right now, but then gets really surprised when they get her. 